Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to spot intraday reversals on the market using both technical analysis and price action. Over the last two days, the NASDAQ has pulled back in the morning, had started to slow down and started to reverse towards end of day. And both of these pullbacks, both of these reversals were pretty easy to spot if you know what you're looking for in price action and technical analysis. And in today's video, I hope to share that with you. And I hope that at the end of the video, you will understand this and you will be able to use this in your own trading. We nailed the bottom today with some QQQ call options. I will show you guys where I got into these, why I get into them, and what I was looking for at the bottom on the NASDAQ to confirm this upside. In the video, I will also show you guys intraday screenshots that I was sending to the Discord chat. So you not only see it in hindsight, like we're gonna be looking at today, but you will also see it as it was unfolding intraday. So it'll make maybe a little bit more sense for you. So if you guys enjoy this video after watching it, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it and wanna see more. And most importantly, press that bell notification so that you guys are alerted when I post. And also, so you guys are alerted when I go live in the morning. An awesome live stream this morning. A lot of great runners off that live stream. So congratulations to those who come and hang out. All right, guys, so before we jump into the charts, I quickly want to go over how you can use this type of information, this knowledge intraday to take advantage of these moves. The first thing you can do if you are just playing the overall market, you can, of course, take QQQ calls. If you spot a bottom, if you think you're finding a reversal, you can use that by taking QQQ calls. That is an option that you can do. Another option is that you have the understanding that if the NASDAQ pushes higher, then some of your tech stocks should also push higher. So you can use this information to watch the NASDAQ and maybe take a call on Amazon. Amazon started to move the exact same time that the NASDAQ was starting to move today as it was starting to reverse. And that is another way you can take advantage of this. The third way is to trade the actual futures contracts, which I did myself locked in about, I think it was around 16 to $1,700 today on the futures alone. So an awesome day for me on the futures trading, something that I've been getting into because of how often I watch the NASDAQ. And that is another way you can take advantage of this information. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the charts on your screen. You are going to be looking at the one minute chart on both the, on the NASDAQ from both yesterday, which is right here, and today, which is right here. I want to start with yesterday uh, because it's a little bit more of an easy example. And today, because it, today was a little bit more difficult because it had, you know, a little bit more pullbacks and a little bit more price action to read. Yesterday was just a very clean reversal overall. So let's go into yesterday. Yesterday right here, you guys can see that we were definitely, you know, finding a bottom intraday, right? So here is the, here is the, uh, here's the NASDAQ one minute chart. So intraday, let's just say it's around 1050 and you are starting to see the NASDAQ trade sideways, right? So we all knew that the NASDAQ was trading sideways yesterday. So if you start to see this bottom start to form, go ahead and draw yourself a line, right? Draw yourself a line here at the lows. You can see every single time the NASDAQ went down to this 15,336, we found some really nice support. Now on the other side, you draw yourself a high. It was clear that every time the NASDAQ hit this top right here, right here, right here again, it got rejected pretty hard. So you have your bottom and top channel that the NASDAQ has been trading in both yesterday and today. This is pretty common. We are seeing this quite a bit as the NASDAQ is trying to hold support at that 20 SMA, you are starting to see these channels form. And I'll show you this in today's example as well. Uh, this is yesterday. Today's will make a little bit more sense. I just wanted to quickly show you this yesterday. So here's yesterday's price action, a very clear channel formed. And right here on this breakout, I mean, this one was just clear as day. Right there on that breakout intraday, it basically never came back. It went straight up. And at this point, you're taking QQQ calls, you're taking Amazon calls, you're taking any tech stock calls, because as the NASDAQ broke here above this high, we were definitely getting some momentum on those tech stocks. So this one's pretty easy, not much information on this first one, but in today's example, it's going to make a lot of sense to you. So here, let's go ahead and jump into today. And I'm going to show you why I started to think that the NASDAQ was reversing intraday. So the first thing, let's go ahead and zoom into today's price action. Now, we saw a morning pullback, right? We had a morning pullback here, 
And where did the NASDAQ start to consolidate? The NASDAQ started to consolidate and hold this level right here around 15,375. Now, why is this level important? This level is important because if you zoom out, you will see that where we found support today is where we were finding resistance yesterday. We were turning the resistance of yesterday into support today and we were creating almost an identical channel that we were creating yesterday. So that is the first thing that I wanna point out and that is exactly what I was showing you, uh, the, the team here on the Discord chat right here. So if I pull this up for you, I'm gonna pull up the messages that I sent on the Discord chat and that is this one right here, guys. So intraday, you guys can see this is not you know after the fact. This is as the market was trading. This is the chart that we were focusing on right here on your screen. You can see this is yesterday's price action. This was the high, the resistance that was forming, which is right here on your screen to the left of this little Discord uh, pop up. And you can see today that we were forming very nice support at that resistance. So resistance turning into support. That was very bullish. And that was something I was on the voice chat intraday talking to the group about how I think that this market could reverse here because if we wanted to turn over, I didn't think that we would hold previous resistance levels. We held them very, very strong all day here uh, on, on the NASDAQ. So that was definitely the first thing that I was looking at on the NASDAQ to spot this reversal. So after that example there, let me go ahead and zoom back out here on the Discord chat. We will go into this again. So that was the first key to be looking at. Now, what's the next key? The next key is to try to find where the market is creating higher lows and higher highs. What you guys will notice all here in the morning, we continue to make lower highs and lower lows. There was no trend to the upside, right? So here is a downtrend here on the market. You can see lower high, lower high, lower low, and a lower low. Now, where did that change? When did that trend change? That trend changed right here around 11.58 uh, AM today. What you'll notice is we started to make higher highs and we started to make higher lows right here. An uptrend has formed on the market. And that is what I was sending in the discord chat right here. NQ holding uptrend right there intraday. You can see how the NASDAQ instead of creating lower lows and lower highs has officially changed to making higher lows. It didn't quite make a higher high in this example you see in the left but it definitely made a higher low. So that is the first very important thing to spot here on the market intraday. If you can catch that higher low starting to come in, you wait to see if it can make that higher high and then you have officially made an uptrend. So right there, your uptrend has started to form on the NASDAQ and where is the top of our channel, right? The top of our channel comes in right around here uh, on the NASDAQ. This was the channel that we were trading in, I'm gonna delete this one, this is from yesterday. This is the channel that we were trading in in between 10 o'clock and around 12 o'clock today on the market. So the uptrend started to form. Where do we see that the market starts to break out? Right when the market started to break this channel, right here, officially at uh, 11 or at 12.15, 12.16, the market broke above the channel that we started to find. This right here is your trend change. This is your reversal on the market. And from that point forward, the NASDAQ continued to make higher highs and higher lows the rest of the day. So here is your crucial point where you wanna be looking at the market, looking at the channel that is, that is forming, draw it out on your charts and find where the market has started to reverse. Now, a disclaimer that I wanna bring up, this will not always work out. Yesterday and today were great examples. It worked out beautifully. Of course, sometimes this could reverse if some news comes out, if there's something bad that affects the price action. Of course, this isn't a 100% solid strategy or solid analysis every single day of the week, but yesterday and today it worked beautifully and I think it is a very good learning lesson for you guys. So that was, that was the beginning of the reversal. Now, I wanna show you guys real quick how this started to unfold, right? So right here, we started to get that reversal. You can see on my Discord chat, I'm gonna pull it up for you guys, right here. 
we got that reversal. We got, we started to get that breakthrough. Right here, we were sending this in the Discord chat. We were talking about, okay, the NASDAQ is officially breaking through that channel from today. That is right here on your screen. Here is the screenshot intraday. We started to get that push. Now, what did we do after getting that push? We got a break and retest, a beautiful break and retest right here on your screen. I'm gonna pull it up for you, one second. Bear with me since I'm going back and forth here. Uh, you got that breakout and what did we do? We retested the previous resistance right here and we turned previous resistance into support. After seeing that, I was very confident in the, in the fact that the NASDAQ would continue higher this day. You can see a push, a pullback. This was previous resistance and that previous resistance turned into support on the NQ. Beautiful, beautiful price action, beautiful hold of previous resistance and a very nice push higher. After that, I went ahead and took some call options on, uh, on the NASDAQ. So I will show you that right now, one second. Here is my trade today on the QQQ. Right here at 1134, I took some QQQ 377 calls uh, on the market after seeing that reversal. So that was 1134. That is right here on the market. As the market was holding this level, I figured the market is holding this level. It is holding the previous highs of yesterday, not previous highs, but it is holding the previous resistance point of yesterday. And if I drag that resistance point over into today, you can see we are holding that yes, uh, today beautifully. We keep on holding the previous resistance from yesterday as support. And I wanna go ahead and take a shot here on some QQQ call options. 1134 is basically the bottom of the day. Um, a beautiful entry. At end of the day today, I think we're up about 50 to 60% on these calls. So a really, really clean entry here on QQQ. Moving forward, we got the uptrend. The reversal started to happen. We started to get this push. We started to push higher. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is the hold of high of day right here. So here was the QQQ high of day. I'm sorry, the NASDAQ high of day right here, right around 15,471. We got the push, we got a big breakout here, and we got a push into high a day. First, we rejected it. Second, we pushed above it. And what did we do after we pushed above high a day on the NASDAQ? We pulled back and we held it beautifully. So if I go back into the Discord, I'll show you how I was looking at this intraday. All right, guys, so here on the Discord chat, you were gonna see this message that I sent at 2.54 p.m. to the members in the Discord chat. You can see a support hold at high a day it just does not get much more bullish on the NASDAQ. Right here is the chart that I sent. I know a little bit small there, but you guys can see that is this price action here on your chart on the right. You can see a very clean hold at high of day, a consolidation, a hold of high of day, and a beautiful push off that level. I mean, after holding that high of day, you guys can see, look at the spike that the NASDAQ had right there. So just some really, really clean price action today. It starts off by watching yesterday, right? It starts off by watching where did we find resistance yesterday? And that was right here around 15,350. Where did we hold support today? We held right above those previous resistance levels, turning that resistance into support. Next, where does the uptrend start to form? When do the lower highs stop? And where does the uptrend start to form on the NASDAQ? That is right here. The lower highs stopped coming in. The higher highs and the higher lows started to form. An uptrend started to form right here around 1145. Where does the NASDAQ break above its channel low or channel resistance? That is right here at, at 1215. It retests it. It holds it as support. It continues to make higher highs and higher lows. It breaks into high of day. High of day holds as support right here. A beautiful support hold at high of day. And there you go. You get your push into the highs on the NASDAQ. Just an awesome day of price action, guys. Spotting that bottom, taking those QQQ calls at the bottom, finding that reversal in today, intraday, and just some really nice price action overall. If the market was weak today, it would have fell, it would have fallen below the support, it would have fallen back to yesterday's lows, and this would have not been a positive day for the market. Instead, it held yesterday, it held that resistance, it bounced off of it, started to make higher highs and higher lows, and the rest is history, right? We got a nice push, we continue to move higher, 
and just an awesome day for price action. So I hope you guys watch this video. I hope it makes sense to you. If you have any questions on it, please leave your comments down below. I will definitely answer them. And congratulations to anyone in the Discord chat that was run, that was sort of following along with this uh, uh, NASDAQ sort of NASDAQ commentary intraday. I know a lot of you guys love it. I get a lot of feedback about the intraday NASDAQ commentary. I know it helps some of you guys look for positions. It helps you guys know if the overall market is healthy. So, you know, shout out to you guys. Hopefully you are enjoying it. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Finding those reversals intraday using price action, using technical analysis. Yesterday and today were some awesome examples. Finding opportunity off these bounces, taking these positions off these reversals can be very lucrative because you have such great entries at some really strong support levels. These holds intraday could not have been possible without that 20 SMA support on the NASDAQ. You guys know on the daily chart, the NASDAQ is at that 20 SMA and it is holding that level very well. And that is what we saw yesterday and today, a hold of that SMA and a push off of it intraday. So spotting those reversals are awesome. They can make some really good positions. And today we definitely killed that reversal. So if you guys enjoyed this one, if you learned something from it, press that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you want to join the Discord chat, it is the first link down in the description below. With all that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.